Using threat intelligence with Sumo Logic Cloud Sim leverages external sources about indicators of compromise to detect and track potential threats in incoming records. Threat intelligence, often abbreviated as threat intel, is information gathered by external sources about various entities, such as host names, file hashes, IP addresses, and other known indicators of compromise. Threat intel can help a security operations center, or SOC, leverage a large body of information to surface potential threats. Threat Intel integrates with your existing Sumo Logic deployment, including CloudSim and CloudSore add-ons. So how does Threat Intel work? A Threat Intel database correlates information, such as a certain IP address, with no malicious activity. Because of this correlation, we can assume log messages with that IP address are more likely to be part of a real cyber attack. CloudSim can automatically create a signal when it encounters a record that contains an indicator from the Threat Intel source. For example, a signal will be created if a record contains the known malicious IP address, in addition to any other signals that record may trigger. This will cluster signals together sooner, creating insights and alerts faster. The additional confidence you get from a threat intel database also means these insights are less likely to be false positives. CloudSim currently supports information from several threat intel databases, including ThreatQ, Taxi Feeds, and most other custom databases you'd like to use. You can see the threat intel you currently have in CloudSim by clicking Content and then Threat Intelligence. In this example, we have an anomaly database that makes up the majority of our threat intel. We could add more threat intelligence databases here by clicking Add Source. If I click Search All Indicators, I can see a list of all known indicators of compromise. Here, we can see over 41,000 known indicators of compromise. You can also see Threat Intel in action by looking at the signals in your system. I'll click Signals and then search for Threat Intel. As you can see, most of these signals were created based on rules as indicated by the blue diamond. However, some were created solely based on threat intelligence as indicated by the purple pentagon. These signals might not have been created based on rules alone, so it's great that we can leverage threat intelligence to detect these potential threats. I hope this video helps you understand threat intelligence in CloudSim. Thank you for joining.